during during my years spent incarcerated, I've run into some of the most amazing um, athletes, artists, poets, writers, just phenomenal talent that is sort of left buried under the rug that the world never knows exists. A number of my pieces sort of um, related the world of today, particularly this country of today, to how it was maybe 400 years ago, you know, when it first began the process of being settled by Europeans. A lot of guys harbor anger and resentments towards, you know, being incarcerated. And, um, and so this is sort of an outlet, so to speak, you know, to let you put all that to the side and, and, um, and just be somewhere else for a while, somewhere much happier, and where you're able to express yourself positively it would allow other sides of them to be seen by society aside from you know only the side that got them incarcerated originally you know it would allow the community to see you know the better sides of them that they don't get to see um and at in the same time allowing the guys who are incarcerated feel like there is a world out here that still cares about them, still believes that, that they can work toward positive change and allow them to feel that they're not coming home to a world that has abandoned them and hates them for the things that they've done. I would like to eradicate the idea that, that criminals are a certain way or have to be a certain way or because they're incarcerated for whatever reasons they they are bad and they can't be changed every individual is is unique different and um we all have certain talents and we enjoy things we love things people and you know just like any other person you know we love we bleed we breathe and no different than anyone else you know um any any man, woman, or child out there could end up where we are at any given day. It doesn't matter where you are on your journey of life, where, what sort of seat you hold, you know, whether you work a factory nine to five or, or you sell real estate, you hold a government office, it, you know, making 150,000 a year, it doesn't matter. It could all be gone tomorrow with one bad decision. You know, apparently a lot of the things that we have tried haven't worked out so great. So oftentimes it's tried to, it's time to try something new. And so whenever, whenever things like this um, are offered in the jail, you know, GCC will come in and offer a lot of classes. And um, whenever they do, you know, guys will jump on the opportunity, I mean, especially me, um, just because why would you not? Why would you not take that time to, to learn new things? Inside Art 3, an exhibit of photography and writing by residents of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, taking place at Art Space at 15 Mill Street on Friday, November 4th from 5 to 7 p.m.